everyone this is Dakota Joe's Outdoors um so anyways I got a couple hindquarters here off a of deer uh Dakota got and there's my trim bucket uh what we're going to be doing here today is I am going to make some jalapeno onion brats I got some natural hog casings got myself a pound of jalapenos uh some onions Got my gloves to try to keep things sanitary, but um, I'm going to break down these two hind quarters. Um, I don't think we'll be trying to get another deer this year. Uh, I do hunt for food. Uh, I don't hunt for trophies. Uh, but I'm going to cut one of these hind quarters up, and get myself a football roast or a top round that looks nice. I'm going to get it right in the crock pot with some onions and carrots and stuff once I get it loose. If you guys need to know how to break this down, break down a deer cord or whatever, uh, the Bearded Butchers, you know, they don't subscribe to my channel or nothing, but Bearded Butchers, they got some good videos on breaking this down. And what I'm going to do is go over me grinding this up and making some sausages and putting this roast on. So um, I'm going to get this cut up and I will get right back to making the video. Peace out. All right, this is Dakota Joe's. We're back with you. I got my nice football roast off that one hind quarter. I uh, the top rounds and stuff I cut those into steaks, and then the, the sirloin tip and the scraps off those I turn into stew meat and I stick a little bit in my uh, scrap bucket for hamburger. I got that hind quarters left to do, and I am gonna throw this uh, football roast. I forget what it's actually called. I call it the football roast. But I'm going to throw this in a crock pot with some potatoes, onions, and celery. And then uh, put some uh, Everglades season on it. And I'll show you guys that when I get it all put together and lock her down. So, peace out. We'll get right back to you. Alright, so the football roast is on. I have onions, celery, red potatoes in there. I put some... Everglade season in it. I put a pack of Lipton onion soup mix in it and I put three beef boiling cubes and then I put a little bit of liquid smoke in there. So the lid is going on. Sorry about the little bit of a mess on the counter if you guys see it. Most of the time you think I was a bachelor but not a bachelor. Yes, we both work odd hours. We end up eating late at night, so there that is. We'll let that cook, and I'm going to get right back over here, bag this stuff up, get it in the fridge, and uh, work on that next hind quarter. Peace out. I, I, I would videotape this, guys, but I have no tripod and nobody to hold the phone for me. So maybe one day I'll get somebody at the house to hold the phone for me. So we'll get back to you guys when we're grinding up the hamburger meat and uh doing the brats peace out one thing i want to show you guys these these steaks are from that football roast nice they make those football roasts make some nice steaks i mean yes you can take the silver skin off i was rushing it i'm more interested in making my brats but this was the second leg quarter um I'm looking for, I'm trying to get as much scraps off, so, I mean, I probably could have got more steaks or another roast out of that, but I want to make sure I have a good trim bucket uh, to uh, get a whole pack of hog casings raveled up into brats. I got a pound of jalapenos, bag of onions, I'm going to make onion jalapenos, throw some garlic salt, some cayenne pepper in there, all that good stuff. So, I'll get back to you guys when I start doing that stuff. Peace out. Alright everyone, we're back. We're grinding. I waited to the end. It's going to get noisy a little bit. Basically, uh...
stick your fingers in there. And go ahead and try to finish this up. So I got this big pot of ground deer venison. Took me 20 minutes to ground up what I had in the fridge and what I had in the bowl. Uh, some of that I will be keeping for uh, hamburger. I'm gonna take that, separate it out, and then I am gonna, uh, I got a, uh, a picnic ham outside that's uh, a green ham. I'm gonna cut that up, mix it with my uh, brats. So I'll get back to you guys when I start doing that. Peace out. All right, so I added cayenne pepper, garlic powder, Everglades seasoning, bold chipotle seasoning in that, some turmeric, uh, some onion powder, even though I'm going to be putting real onions and jalapenos in it. That is the pork shoulder I'm going to cut up. I'm going to grind that up, and then I'll get to the onions and stuff, and we'll go to mixing. So we'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back and I am chopping up the jalapenos. I am just taking the stems off. I am putting seeds and all in there. So these might be some warm ones. So I, I got a pound of jalapenos. I don't think I'll use the whole pound of jalapenos. I'll probably use uh, about three onions, I'm thinking, over there. But uh, I don't want to make them too hot, but might already surpass that. So there's what I got. I'll probably do one or two more of these and uh, start on the onions and get those mixed up. And uh, we will record while we're stuffing. Got to use my uh, old trusty, uh, I think I bought it at Dick's Sporting Goods, but it was 60 something dollars and... I have run at least five deer through there the last two years. So, and it's still going. It was worth the, the, the investment. Beats hand cranking stuff. And I did clean the cutting board in the little area I'm working here. So, even though it's all going in the deer meat. So, it's all mixed up there. So, we'll be mixing it some more. Peace out, guys. All right, guys, so I'm stuffing the brats. Get yourself some olive oil. The wipe on the nipple when it gets too rough to put the um, haul casing on there. I tie a knot in the first end and get it nice and tight. But this is how they turn out. I'm going to talk now because when I start doing this, it's going to get loud. So, yes, I don't have gloves on, but I eat them myself. So... <laughs>
Okay, so these are the piles of brats I got. This is going to bag up the extra for hamburgers. Or chili. Or chili. chili. So that's what I got out of that big bowl. Plus, I'd already put two bags of hamburger out of it in the freezer. So that's what I got. Peace out, people. Don't be afraid to try new things.